Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. Let's get straight down to it, shall we? So obviously, it's been an eventful week in the world of boxing. Massive news uh, culminating in the big main event, Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., which is obviously an eight-round exhibition fight. It's going to be big. We all look forward to it. But that will be my next podcast because today's podcast, I believe, is an even bigger fight. Yes, Bigger fight, I said it. Now, obviously, we're not talking about money generated. We're not talking about uh, the fight hype. We're not talking about the names. Obviously, you're not going to get bigger than Mike Tyson. But in terms of quality of boxing, in terms of a super fight, in terms of relevance, today, the modern world boxing, Javante Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz, October 24th, you do not get bigger. You do not get better. Now, obviously... Javante, 23-0, versus Cruz, who I believe is something like 31-1-1. and and um, Huge records. Um, Javante, 2-8 world champion. Santa Cruz, 3-8 world champion. Um, it's all to play for, isn't it? However, this is not going to be a competitive fight. Yep, I've said it right here. This is not going to be a competitive fight. And the reasons are, well, let's break it down, shall we? Leo Santa Cruz is a fantastic featherweight, super featherweight, but he's moving up to lightweight. It's the first time he's going to be fighting a lightweight, and not only that, a big lightweight in Javante Davis. Yes, we're aware that Javante Davis has moved up from super featherweight recently, but he was huge for super featherweight, and he's still a big lightweight. Um, He's got a big frame, he's thick set, and he's powerful. And as they always say in boxing, styles make fights. Leo Santa Cruz only knows how to fight one way. It's come forward, it's relentless pressure off both hands. Um, And he's very effective at it. He can punch from both hands, he's got a lovely body shot, and ultimately he's got a great gas engine. But that works great against featherweights, and even super featherweights. But Cole Frampton showed you the blueprint on how to beat Leo Santa Cruz. And John Tovac Davies, for me, is a better fighter than Cole Frampton. What's going to happen, I believe, is going to be a similar version of Joe Frazier versus George Foreman. You've got someone who's walking into the snake's pit. And when they do, they're going to get bitten and they're going to get stung. Okay, Because Javante Davies is a heavy hitter and he's also a very good counterpuncher. And Santa Cruz is going to walk straight into his punches. Um, And that's a massive problem at lightweight. I don't believe Santa Cruz is going to fight anyone who hits as hard or as accurate as Javante Davies. If you look at his accuracy, with Javante Davies when he fights, it's almost up to 90%. Whatever he hits, he hurts as well. Um, And he's quick, he's young, he's just as quick as Santa Cruz. So he's going to avoid a lot of Cruz's punches and he's going to make him miss, he's going to make him pay. Well, Santa Cruz is walking in to a, a ball of flames and, I, and he's going to get burned, unfortunately. Um, this fight will not go the distance. I believe Javante Davis will take a few rounds to uh, time Cruz. You know, he's fast and quick and you expect him to carry the super heavyweight speed up. But when Javante Davis starts to time him, it's going to be good night. A bit like the fights, you know, if you watch... Um, Certainly in the Liam Walsh fight against Javante Davis, when he starts figuring a fighter out, it's a matter of time. And this, I believe, is what's going to happen with Santa Cruz. I don't think Santa Cruz, a bit like when he fought Frampton the first time, is going to hurt Javante Davis. I don't think he's got the firepower, the size, which means Javante Davis will gradually lose respect for him during the fight. And I think he gets him out of there around the five or six. I don't think this goes past the six mark. I think Javante Davis times Cruz coming in, hits him, hurts him, and stops him. Santa Cruz has been in a lot of battles, a lot of fights, and I just think this is one too many. Moving up to lightweight, he's a smaller man. He's going to be outgunned. um, And Javante Davis is just just as quick and slippery as Santa Cruz. And that's the problem because Santa Cruz relies on that. This fight will not go to distance. And I think John Faye Davis sends a big statement to the lightweight division that he is one of the top fighters in the division. He just needs to be a bit more active. All right, guys. I can't wait for it, though. October 24th, it's going to go down. Fox 
and Al Heyman have done brilliant. They've got a massive uh, schedule coming up with some outstanding fights. But for me, this is the super fight. This is the fight of the year uh, candidate. And I think it will live up. It will be explosive. It will be dynamic. And it will live up to the hype. But it won't last too long. Javante Davis will be too much for Leo Santa Cruz. He knocks him out within six rounds. Mark my words.